I should point out, you're a retired U.S. Navy captain. You served at the Pentagon when I was the CNN correspondent there. We've known each other for a long time as well, just as I've known Senator Feinstein for a long time. So when you retired from the Navy, during the Clinton administration, you went to work for public affairs at CIA. You stayed through those early years of the Bush administration. So you were there when these enhanced interrogation tactics, techniques, whatever they were called, torture, some suggest, were in, in effect. Did you personally know what was going on? I had some level of knowledge of it. I, I wasn't intimately involved in it, but I was aware of it, uh, given my position at the time, yes. So you go through this lengthy report, and it's you know, hundreds and hundreds of pages. Knowing what you know now, are you personally comfortable what CIA officials, CIA contractors did to these detainees? I am absolutely comfortable with what CIA authorizes people to do. And I wouldn't just go through that lengthy report that, that everyone seems to be pointing to. I'd go through the report that was put out by the Republican minority, a shorter report, which is much, uh, as I understand it, and I haven't been able to go all the way through that one either, but it's much easier to read. It takes, starts from the things that are in this report and points out how much is wrong in there. I'd also look at the CIA rebuttal, which was put out yesterday, which has gotten far too little notice. And I would go to our website, CIASaveLives.com, where we put up lots of documents never before seen by the public. Some of them only recently declassified formerly top secret documents which show that the program was authorized, it was legal, and it was effective. But if you go through this report and you read some of the disgusting details of what were done to these human beings, they may have been Al-Qaeda detainees, suspects, or whatever, it, it is pretty brutal. I mean, it, 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 it certainly sounds like torture. It, it may well sound, and, and there were some mistakes made. Nobody at the CIA is saying that the program was run perfectly. Uh, there were a number of occasions when people overstepped their bounds and did bad things. But what's not coming clear from that is that when that happened, CIA officers on the scene reported that up the chain of command, reported it to the inspector general. When appropriate, it was reported to the Department of Justice. What it doesn't tell you in there, or doesn't stress in there, is that this entire program was examined carefully by one of the most dogged prosecutors in the U.S. government, John Durham, who looked at all the same information and he found nothing prosecutable. Not only that, he took the time to sit down and talk to people, to interview people who were involved. Five and a half years, Senator Feinstein's committee never bothered to do that. Well, she said that the Justice Department told her uh, and the committee, you can't interview officials from the CIA, the contractors, because potentially they could be indicted, criminally investigated, and just re rely on the documents that are being made available to you. You can't actually right. talk to, yesterday I spoke to John Rizzo, who was the chief counsel for the CIA. He said, I wanted to talk to these people. They never called me. Right. Uh, what, what the senator said to you, in all due respect, is nonsense. What happened was Leon Panetta, then the director of the CIA, said, I can't make current employees talk to them if they don't want to. But there was only a small number of people who were ever under investigation. Every investigation was completed by 2012, almost two and a half years ago. And a lot of the people that you would want to talk to were never under investigation.